What is up, guys? We are back. Injustice. Shenanigans. These ones. Gonna get some games. Gonna get some gains. No, we're not gonna get any gains. But we're gonna get some games. Should be a good time. Hopefully, you guys saw the last video. The last video explains where I've been. I was kidnapped into a Saudi Arabian uh, smuggling ring. You know, it's gonna happen sometimes. And I've been really busy with that lately. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you get kidnapped into the sex trade in Saudi Arabia and you know you just get busy for a couple weeks and then you come back so it's you know but yeah if you guys want to know what actually happened check out the last video it explains everything and now we are here to play some injustice you know what I'm saying like we are here to hit some buttons do some combos and be the greatest Grundy of all time all right here we go oops it's kind of playing oh okay Whoops. I didn't mean to walk. I didn't mean to jump. I tried to walk in corpse cancel. Okay. That mix up actually doesn't work on this character. Oh. Whoops. Ah, oh, fuck. Ugh. Oh, that doesn't work. Got it. Somebody keeps texting me. Hold on. Thought I took care of this. All right, here we go. Don't do it. Oh, I tried to back dash. No. Get me out of there. What the fuck did he just wake up with? Was that like stand three or something? Whoa, that was really far. Uh, I'm not gonna do any more because I don't want him to clash. Mm, just right on the floor. That's how Grundy does it. His throw is good. When I was talking about how everybody's throw sucked in this game, not Grundy's. Grundy's is good. I just wish he would take his blood and wipe it on the little rag he's got going there. You know what I'm saying? The handkerchief. That would be really sick. If that was like his win pose in this costume, I'd be really down. But unfortunately, it's not. And I'm not a lead designer in Nether Realms, or I would make sure that that happened. You know what I'm saying? Or art designer, or whoever does that. Character modelist. Or whatever you want to call it. I would make sure that happened, but obviously that's not me, so. You guys are gonna have to talk to Ed Boone and make sure that that happens so I can do this. Ransack Snake Zero. Okay. Uh, so, how have you guys been? How was your guys? What just happened? There was a holiday recently, right? Wasn't there? Oh, we left. Try to think. So, what are we? It's like early January. It's not New Year's. Something else happened. Either way, hopefully you guys are doing well. I have been binge watching House of Cards. Oh my good golly, gumdrops. It's so good. I'm really excited for the next season. If you guys don't know, it comes out like mid February or something like that. Like, I can't even begin to explain the hype I have for that show. Like, I, I seriously watched like two seasons in like four days. And if you, you guys don't know how long the seasons are, they're 10 episodes. And yeah, they're 10 episodes, and each episode's an hour. So to give you, or no, actually there's 13 episodes. So I watched, like, so how? Why does this guy keep leaving? Is it because of my win loss? I don't even know what my win loss is in rank, to be honest. I haven't looked at the leaderboards in a millennium. That's not even my score. Look at all these. This motherfucker, Mike Lou, has 26,000 wins, almost 27,000 wins. I have a thousand. Like, are you serious? I don't understand. It could be way worse. Everybody else has like 15k. Oh, God. He's just gonna leave. But yeah, I've been watching House of Cards. It's ridiculous. I don't know how to break it to you guys, but it's the most electrifying show on television. Like, it is. It's so good. It's incredible. Like, I always liked Kevin Spacey, so going into the show, I was kind of biased because, like, Just play me, dude. There's no one else online. I don't know how to break it to you. He's just gonna leave again. Uh, 
Okay, fine. I'll I'll go play I'll go play player matches. But yeah, like I've always been a Kevin Spacey fan, so like obviously heading into this, I was just like already super biased, you know? I was like like it's Kevin Spacey. I'm going to love it, but god, it was so good. If you guys like dialogue, you have to like dialogue though because the whole show is just drama and dialogue. It's not really action packed or anything like that, so you have to really you have to really stick to it. It's got to be a show that you commit to. You can't just kind of like haphazardly watch it. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta be in there like swimwear, otherwise it just won't be the same. You know what I mean? Who do I want to play? Play Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Nightwing. He picked Nightwing on me. Oh gosh. I'll just random. Well, we got his stage anyway. All right, should I start? To, should I try to be a hero at the start of this? If you don't know at the start of this, Nightwing's back two beats Wonder Woman's, but he might not know that, and I can just do back two. I shouldn't have done that. He doesn't know how to play Nightwing. Why did he pick Nightwing? I don't understand. Of course, I was just about to say, here he comes in his staff. Everybody does that. At the start of the round, they're like, oh yeah, I can go to staff. I tried to super. Yeah, she can actually duck flip kick like that, just like in neutral. No, I gotta get away. Bing. Yeah, she can just duck flip kick. So if you walk up to him on his wake up and you're down three, beats every wake up that Nightwing has in, uh, in Eskrima. I don't think it beats his staff wake ups though. Like, Flying Grayson no goes past, but I think Staff Spin trades. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I know you can time it medium enough that it beats Staff Spin also, so you can make him pretty free on Wake Up. Why did he pick Nightwing on me? What a goofball. Thing is, I, I know how to play a lot of characters in this game. <clears throat> like, I've played at least, like, five or six characters in tournament. So, yeah. And then, like, obviously online I can play, like, a lot of characters, but... I don't want to play her against Aquaman. I'll play Batgirl. Batgirl. What stage? Why Fortress? I wonder. Oh, this actually I shouldn't have helped. I shouldn't have given this. This stage is really good for Aquaman. He just gets to do from the deep, interactable, back three. It's really cheap. You guys will probably see it. Wow, that was uppercut. I thought for sure he, he was gonna do what's it called. Okay. Why was he just doing down one? I actually don't think this matchup's bad for Batgirl. I think she does pretty well. What was that about? What? That was. He always does meet over back three on my wake up. And that's a multi hitting move. How did that not work? I was greedy of me. I shouldn't have thrown another one. It's probably gonna have four jump. Never mind. Oh my god, I didn't block that. It's like 5,000 frames. Why did he throw me? I threw him. 
Oh my god. That's, that sucks. I wonder if that was a punish. Because that move, the, the little flip into the, the dolphin flip, is like really negative, I think. But he has he gets pushed back, so maybe the cartwheel punish. I don't know. Why is he playing all these characters he doesn't know how to play? I don't understand. It's really weird. Oh well. Who knows? I don't know. Is he just gonna keep switching character? Why not? Alright, I'll switch characters. But yeah, I mean, we can't play ranks because a fucking slumdog millionaire kept quitting on me. I don't remember his name. But <laughs> you guys get the idea. Ow. My neck. Okay. I'm okay. My neck really hurt when I just cracked it, though. I don't. You guys probably couldn't hear it in the microphone. But god damn, that hurt. Oh, he's gone? <sighs> All right, then, guys. We're going to take a break, then. We'll come back with some more Injustice. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it having a good time staying up all night to get lucky you know what i'm saying and uh yeah see you guys again soon